Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hopefully resolve the Bluetooth is not available on this device error message that you are receiving on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu, type in troubleshoot, best match, or go back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and open that up. On the right side, underneath Options, go ahead and select the Other Troubleshooters button. And then underneath Other, select the Bluetooth Troubleshooter, and then the Run button that corresponds to it. It looks like it was able to resolve the problem. Hopefully that was able to work for you guys and got you back up and running. If you're still having a problem, something else we can try here as well would be to open up the search menu. Type in device manager, best match, or come back with device manager. Go ahead and open that up. Expand the Bluetooth section by either double clicking on it or selecting a little arrow next to it to expand the drop down. And then go through each device in here that's listed underneath Bluetooth. Right click on it and select update driver. So let's browse my computer for drivers, and then select, let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Select the manufacturer-specific one, unless you have a generic one, and that's your only option. In which case, then you have to install that one. Otherwise, you can just select the manufacturer one here, then select Next, and then select Close. And do that for all of the drivers listed in here. Then once that is done, something else I would look into as well, opening up the search menu. Search for control panel. Best match, or come back with control panel. Go ahead and open that up. Sort your view by by large icons, and then select power options. On the left side, you want to select where it says choose what the power button does. Select where it says change settings that are currently unavailable. And if you see an option underneath shutdown settings for turn on fast startup, I would uncheck that option and then see if that resolves the problem. You may want to come back in here and turn it back on if it doesn't resolve the problem, but for some reason that's what's holding you up from having a working Bluetooth connection. You might want to consider turning that off and then you would select save changes and then you would proceed to restart your computer once that change was made and even if you didn't change any settings in the control panel even if you updated just the drivers through device manager I would still restart your device And hopefully at this point your issue has been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.